Now, recently I was going through some of my old videos and I have some really, really bad old videos where they are just food and really bad, what would be considered early 90s to late 2000s pornographic music, I'm pretty sure. And one of the videos I watched recently was the All-American Burger, and that was actually a good cook, but there was no instruction, nothing really good about it, other than video, grill, burger, and music. So nothing's more All-American than this uh, golden retriever right here and an All-American Burger. So today, we are gonna be remaking the All-American Burger from my old video to the new video. Let's get started. Nothing is more American than the burger. And we're gonna make my version of the All-American Burger, which I got from a recipe book from the Bobby Flay. And he makes amazing stuff, but we're gonna do it better than him. So Bobby Flay, if you're watching, which I highly doubt you are, but if you are watching, check out this. These are the ingredients you're gonna need. Come in close here. First things first, black label bacon. That's what you're gonna need. You need some, of course, Pepperidge Farm. That's the bougie uh, bread. We're gonna get that as a hamburger bun. We're gonna toast that up. We got some boar's head American cheese right here. We have some organic tomatoes, right? Some organic sweet onions, right? And then we've got all these ingredients right here that we're gonna be putting on. Some of our Cosmo Q, the best sizzling burger rub. We've got some Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, and that's the way to say it. Publix ketchup, Duke's mayo, the only mayo, repeat, the only mayo. Duke's mayo is the only mayo. And then we have some classic yellow mustard. And then here's the problem. We like to order our groceries online, get it shipped to our house, not shipped, but delivered to our house from the big box store. And um, I ordered some pre-made patties. They sent me this, which is, I ordered 80-20. I don't even know what this is, but this is 12 patties for $10. Uh, so I don't imagine this is the highest quality meat, but we're gonna do the best that we can with this, and we're gonna be firing up our Primo to do it. So we got our Primo classic round with the new top damper, the new bands, the new lower damper. This thing is a thing of beauty. We are going to open this baby up. I just filled it with charcoal. And of course, we are gonna take the amazing invention, the grill gun by Grill Blazer and get this baby smoking. Then we're gonna hop back into the kitchen and go mad scientists all over those burgers to make the all American burger. <laughs> now, it took me about 30 to 45 seconds of a good blast from the grill gun. Our target temp for this is gonna be about 350 to 400 degrees. So I'm gonna open my damper on the bottom to about two and a half, and then I'm going to put our grate right on top, just like so. And if you see all that beautiful smoke forming, uh, this is Carolina Cookwood. Check them out, bud. He makes some of the best charcoal I have ever used. Gives me some of the best flavor I've ever used. It is premium charcoal. So Carolina Cookwood, check them out. We're gonna close this up and then we're gonna open our top damper to three. So two and a half on the bottom, three on top. Should give us about 350, 400 range. Let's jump in the kitchen and get started on these burgers. We've got these burgers and they are thin. So these are like pre-smashed smash burgers. We got one and two. That's all we're gonna need for this. Um, first things first, we're gonna take some of our Lee and Perrins and we're just gonna 
put it on top of the burgers. Like so. Next, we're gonna apply the limited edition The Best Sizzlin' Burger by Cosmo Q. Let's get a beautiful close-up of that. This has some bomb flavor. Um, and because it's Sizzlin' Burger, we're gonna apply it to the burgers and we're gonna do a good amount. It's gonna give us a nice crust on it. And with that Worcestershire sauce in there, that's gonna kinda act as a binder. And we're gonna hit both sides of this. And the last thing we're going to do is we have three strips of this beautifully cut, center cut, black label bacon. And we're going to get a cast iron griddle and we're gonna put it on the grill and we're gonna fry the bacon in the uh, pan, excuse me, cast iron pan, while the burgers are cooking. We're gonna top the cheese on there. We're gonna toast up the uh, um, bun here. I can talk today. And then we're also actually going to grill the onions as well. We're gonna add a lot of flavor to this stuff. So we're waiting for the grill to finish coming up the tent. We'll see you back outside in just a second. All right, so the grill is floating around 350, which is right where we wanted it. So we are going to burp the grill. I know, I know, this looks like dirty smoke. It is not. I added a couple smoking chunks in there, wood chunks. First things first, I got a cast iron pan right here. You wanna come in and see that real quick? Cast iron pan. He doesn't like to uh, be in the smoke too much. And we're gonna add a little bit of oil to that right there because this is what we're gonna be putting the bacon. So we're gonna put that here. We're gonna lay the bacon right on top. It's still coming up the temp a little bit because I kind of just put it in, but that's all right. Just like that. Next, I've got my burgers themselves. They go right on the grate. You hear that sizzle going? Beautiful. Burger number two. We're gonna close this, let the smoke fill the air, the chamber, and we're gonna check on them in just a few minutes. I'm gonna be flipping my burgers with my trusty Atlanta Falcon spatula because hey, it's football season, let's go. So the burgers have been cooking just a few minutes. We're gonna check on them because I think the juice is coming on the outside of it or on the top, which means that again, burp the grill. I know, this looks like bad smoke. I promise you it's not. But you can see here, come on in, I'll show you. Kind of a clear view you see all the juice coming in right here so this is the one time again one time we're gonna flip our burger one and one look at those flames kicking up kissing the meat the uh, bacon we can check on that too still needs a little bit of time which is fine so we're gonna shut that again let it cook another couple minutes and then we're going to slap these with some cheese on there, toast the bun, toast the onions, and then hopefully the bacon will be done by then. And we can put this burger together so that you will have the all-American burger that's not only going to blow your mind, but blow your taste buds away and blow away your friends and family with flavor and amazing, amazing barbecue. So simple. Let's keep going. Next, we are going to add our cheese to the burgers and let it melt on top. Here we go. Again, don't grill me. <laughs> Get the fun grill. Don't grill me. See, look, this is why you burp it. Right here. I just singed all my hairs. Just got some backdraft in there because I'm an idiot. So, we're going to just pop the cheese on there like so. And this one's already pre-melted from the sun. Pop the cheese on it like so. That bacon's looking nice and crispy on one side, so we'll pop it up. Oh yeah, actually looking real good. Now, I'm going to take some of the onions that I'm going to put on my All-American Burger, and we're just going to throw them right on the grate. Just like that. Let them sit there. While this cheese melts, we're going to sit there for just a few more minutes. We're going to pull these burgers off in just a second because they are cooked. I don't like my burgers medium rare, medium anything like that. I only eat my steaks that way. Uh, I like my burgers fully cooked. Then we're going to toast the bun. That's gonna to be the final thing we do because we want that hot 
and fresh. And that cheese should be melting here in just a second. We'll see you in another second or two when we pull off those burger patties and hopefully the bacon. Now to also prevent flare-ups, grab a heat-resistant glove. And here we go, we're gonna open this up, burp it, let that back draft in, and then I'm gonna protect my eyes here for a second. Perfect melting on the cheese. We're gonna pull that off, boom, right there. Look at that, boom, right there. Look at those glistening in the sun like that. Beautiful. And here's another cool thing. Look at the color that these onions picked up here. Might be easier to see on the white background here. They picked up some beautiful smoke, some beautiful color. Awesome. Those are gonna top my those are gonna top my burger. Now we're gonna toast the bun on the fire pit that we have going. This should take just a minute because we're gonna burn it otherwise. So I'm gonna leave it open now because we have this open flame going. I don't wanna burn my bread. You can already see that we got it going just a little bit. Got it going a little bit longer. We'll get a little bit of toast station on there. But we have some amazing bacon right there. This one right here. Got some beautiful colored bacon. This should be done toasting. We call that caramelization. Now, here's the fun part. Shut it down, shut it down. That fire's gonna burn out. Let's step inside. That was a hot, hot fire. Let's build the rest of this burger inside. These burgers shrank a good bit. I'm only using these burgers because I was given the wrong ones, but that's some awesome, awesome melted cheese. So first thing we're gonna do is put the bottom patty on. Next, we're going to add one of our tomatoes, like so. One of our onions, like so. The bun's toasted, the burger's ready. Pop a little pepper on top of the tomato. Just a little bit, like that, okay? And then add one strip of bacon. Next, we go for the double decker. We have, top it with your onions again. Now, here's the best part. Bacon number one and bacon number two. We are going to top the bun with a squeeze of Duke's Mayo, like so. A squeeze of some ketchup, like so. A squeeze of some mustard, like so. And here we go. We're gonna top it. Bada bing, bada boom. The All-American Burger. Now, here's a close-up. Now, this burger is not gonna win any beauty contest, but it's a backyard barbecue burger, the All-American Burger. I'm not competing in a contest. I am just vowing for the right to have the best burger in the backyard, right? So, this is it. It doesn't have to look perfect, but it's gonna taste amazing. And, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh yeah. Take another bite. You can hear it dripping. Here, take a look right here at all the drippings when I just squeezed it. Let's take another bite here. Mmm. Still tender. Very juicy. Amazing, amazing flavor. I know what my dinner is for tonight. I'm gonna finish this up, cook some burgers for the family, but this is a winner. This is definitely better than the All-American burger I cooked on my uh, char griller. We don't like to mention them on this channel. This tops that Primo Kamado, All-American, Cosmo Q. It just wins, doesn't get better than that. We'll see you next time.